Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Chilean government has taken significant steps to bolster the operational capabilities of the Carabineros in the Biobio region by acquiring advanced military equipment. This initiative includes the addition of two new Arquis Bastion 4x4 armored vehicles, which will complement the four units previously purchased with funds from the regional government of Biobio. This strategic acquisition aims to enhance security in an area that has been under a state of emergency since May 2022. Manuel Monsalve, Under Secretary of the Interior, confirmed the acquisition of these additional Bastion 4x4 armored vehicles, alongside four Hunter TR-12 personnel transport vehicles from Armor International, Colombia. This substantial investment, which also includes a high-end drone with a flight autonomy of 10 hours, amounts to approximately $8.3 million. Monsalve emphasized that the new vehicles would significantly enhance the safety of police personnel operating in the region. The purchase of the Bastion vehicles will be funded through both regional and central government budgets, totaling 2,300 million pesos, $3 million, for the four units from the regional budget and two from the central budget. The Bastion 4x4, designed in France and utilized by several countries, including Senegal, is a robust armored personnel carrier. It weighs 12,000 kilograms and offers ballistic protection levels 1 to 3 according to NATO STANAG 4569 standards, as well as anti-mine protection level 2A 2B. The vehicle can be armed with various configurations, such as a 12.7 mm machine gun, a 7.62 mm machine gun, or a 40 mm grenade launcher. With a maximum speed of 110 km per hour and a range of 1,000 km, the Bastion 4x4 is well suited for long duration missions and rapid deployment. Its dimensions, 6.0 meters in length, 2.20 meters in width, and 2.40 meters in height, provide ample space for a crew of 2 plus 8 passengers. Additional features include a central tire inflation system, a fire support system, a self protection system, and a front electric winch all of which enhance its versatility and operational effectiveness in challenging environments. The acquisition also includes four Hunter TR-12 armored personnel carriers, each capable of transporting 12 people. These vehicles, produced by Armor International and mounted on the International CV chassis by Navistar Defense, weigh 10,205 kg and are equipped with a 6,600 cubic centimeters V8 turbo diesel engine producing 350 horsepower. They offer Stanag Level 2 protection with a V-shaped hull for blast protection and advanced off-road capabilities, providing excellent protection against weapons and improvised explosive devices. In addition to the armored vehicles, the Chilean government is procuring a state-of-the-art drone, valued at 7,500 million pesos. This unmanned aerial vehicle has a flight autonomy of over 10 hours and a control range of 150 kilometers, representing the most advanced drone technology used by police forces in Latin America. The acquisition process for this drone is currently underway. Integrating these new armored vehicles and drone technology is expected to significantly enhance the operational efficiency and safety of the Carabineros of Chile. The reinforcement of their capabilities will enable more effective management and response to security challenges in the Biobio region and beyond. This strategic investment underscores the government's commitment to ensuring the safety and security of its police force and the communities they serve. That's all for now. See you later.